vegetable ego sisu. Have you tried out this method? If you want to know how I prepare this vegetable ego soup, please stay tuned to this video and don't go anywhere. to my channel in today's video i'm going to share with you how i make my vegetable egusi soup yes vegetable egusi soup i have been seeing a lot of egusi soup, soup but i have not really made egusi on my channel make one and i'm happy to show you my own method how i make my vegetable egusi soup so if you want to see the outcome of this soup, remember to stay tuned to this video and don't go anywhere. I want to say a very big thank you to all my old subscribers. Thank you for always tuning in. Thank you for coming back to watch my video. May the Lord bless you. And for my new subscribers, you are highly welcome to my channel. Thank you. In this channel, you are going to have a lot of fun and you will never regret your coming. And let's dive into this video without taking much time. First of all, I have my oil, I have my red oil, which is palm oil. I have my mist stock already. This is it. I want to on this video fast. so that I will not take a lot of time. And if you want to see how I cook meats, you can watch my previous video. You will learn more how I make my mist stock. I have my cooked meat. I have beef here. I have this ishaki. This is how it looks like. It's black back ishaki, but it's very sweet. Forget about the color. This is very sweet. If you want to make use of this black back ishaki, you have to be ready to wash it very well. Wash it with hot water and salt. This is it. And this is very sweet. So, and I have some assorted meat here. So this is the meat I'm going to be using. If you have been following me, you will know that I don't I don't really like beef too much. I have my vegetable leaf here, which is spinach. I love spinach. I'm going to be using one pack of spinach. And this vegetable has been washed. Yes, I just washed it and I decided to leave it in this filter so that all the water will come out from the spinach. I also have my tomato, which I'm going to blend it again. There are still some seed of tomatoes inside, like a dice of tomatoes are still inside. So I'm going to re-blend it. I have my mangy cube and salt. I have my scotch bonnet pepper. I also have my crayfish here. And this is the egusi I'm going to be making. So I have my dry fish which have, which have been cleaned. You can see it has been cleaned and I have disboned it. This is my dry fish so have my fish it has been cut and washed as well i have my one onions i have my mushroom this is my mushroom if you have also been following me you will know i love mushroom yes i love mushroom these are the ingredients we are going to be using for this recipe i'm going to start by blending the egusi right now i will wash it right I will start off by blending all the ego seed. This, all my blended stuff is ready. We are going to go ahead with the cooking right away. I will be adding my palm oil. Time. I will not allow the oil to be too hot. I will just add my blended tomatoes, onions. And I add my blended tomatoes, onions, and scotch bonnet pepper. So we are going to allow it to steam for some minutes. 
this has steamed for some minutes now we are going to go ahead and add the egg we'll see this is one thing i love when you wash your egg we'll see and then blend it you can see the white snakes and the white color So guys, I have been taking care of this behind the camera because I don't want to just make the video too long and you can see the water is dried off, it's now remaining just the apple seed. So at this time, I will be adding the meat. Yes, I'll be adding the meat. Also be adding my dry fish. the crayfish add just little salt because of the meat stock I'm going to be adding later and this time you put it on a low heat so that the ebusish will not get burned so I will add my maggi cube my vegetables which have been washed and cleaned I add a fish I also add some meat stock. I add the fish and I also add some meat stock to cook the fish. I didn't know that the camera were not filming what I was doing. It was a little part of it, which I'm just trying to explain to you guys. So at this time, after adding all those things now, we are going to leave it. We are going to cover it to cook for just some minutes. So guys, stay tuned. So guys, can you see this? Can you tell me you are not feeling this egusi already? Oh my word. If you have not tried this method, please go and try it. I will be so glad to see you try out this, my own method of Vegetable egg, you see. Yes, we are going to leave it for just three minutes. We are done. So, guys, oh my god, we have come to the end of this video. If you enjoy watching, you love this recipe and you would like to give it a try i myself would be so so happy to see you try out this recipe you are going to love it and uh, if you enjoyed this video remember to give it a huge thumbs up share it amongst friends and family and if you are still watching us you have not yet subscribed do wait to subscribe to our channel we we'll so much appreciate it Thank you for staying tuned to this video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.